there's an interesting stat uh, about the player who did the best uh, in this particular thing jemima rodrix returns back to form number 3 uh, the youngest to score 1000 t20 i runs um and now another interesting stat hypocos puts up is most scores at 49 not out in women's t20s four times happened with india that's two with mithali raj one with deepthi sharma one with jemima rodrix today and it's only happened once each for australia bangladesh china england and scotland uh, very interesting let's talk about the player who has kind of put a stamp that the number 3 position now is my uh jemi marotrix how impressive was she she didn't go for the bigger shots as shafali or smriti did she went for more uh, grounded shots uh, went for more uh, gaps but she did decently well um yeah she did and uh, look i think the thing with jemi marotrix is at least in the last while is uh, she's come to understand her game really well um and you know when you watch her that she's very very strong through the offside um and and she backs her backs herself i think when she came into the international circuit or even maybe 3 or 4 years ago when you watched her she didn't quite have the power to clear the inner ring um but now she's developed that and she's very confident that when you have the fielders in the ring she knows she can go over them um and i think with her it's all about um her, her foot movement so getting into positions where she can um maneuver the ball into into spaces that she wants to and she's become um extremely good at good at that i think she reads the play very well she understands where the gaps are and how she can then get the ball into those gaps um understanding where the bowler is potentially going to target her so when when you're attacking her stumps she's either going to pull out the sweep against a spinner or try and create some room and go over the offside so it will depend on the field that that you uh, kind of set to her and and she reads it very well she reads the play very well and and is able to then maneuver her footwork or maneuver her body into positions where she can then access the boundary and i think that has come with experience understanding how things work in international cricket she said this a lot that you know her first year it was kind of a whirlwind where where people didn't kind of know what her strengths were what she could do they watched her for a year and then they they kind of uh, tied up all those loose ends they targeted areas that they that she couldn't quite score in so she had to go back and and she's worked a lot on those kinds of things and you can see that now in her development where where she understands that it's not just about the boundaries it's also about running hard between the wickets it's kind of also pushing your partner um so she's done that ex- extremely well especially in this inning where she really pushed yastika bhatte i think yastika was uncomfortable in some at, at some points um but that's exactly what you have to do in international cricket those two have batted a lot together for west zone in age group and and senior cricket so um even though they weren't very comfortable i think they they knew that they were that they could work together because they have had uh, big partnerships at at various levels so it's great to see her kind of again uh, that that promise becoming a performance on the field and especially after what's been a, a bit of a difficult period for her 